Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, March the 12th. In my previous post, I looked at receiving GM, DSS, DSC, HF, and uh, VHF using uh, the RTL SDR here. And we looked at it uh, with Windows 10 laptop and decoding with multi-PSK. Another thing we can do is we can actually do this with the Raspberry Pi, which might be an interesting option for sort of like a dedicated receiver. So that's what I have set up here. I've got the RTL SDR, I've got uh, a marine antenna there, and I've got a PL259 to SMA adapter to go on the RTL from the antenna. And then I've got a lithium battery pack powering the uh, RTL, uh, powering the uh, Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 4. I've got different images here on different SD cards. Rather than changing the programming each time, I just put in a different uh, SD card. So right now I'm running uh, the latest version of Raspbian. I think it's Bullseye 11. And um, I've got uh, I've got a USB speaker here. And uh, right now I'm running this on the uh, LAN. You could also configure the Raspberry Pi for wireless, uh, but I'm having problems with my wireless right now. My laptop it seems to multi connect multiple times. So I'm just uh, I've just connected the Raspberry Pi to uh, to the LAN, but you could also have it as a Wi-Fi wi hotspot. So right now we're looking at the um, the Raspberry Pi desktop with VNC viewer. So let's go over to Camtasia. Okay, so like I said, uh, we've connected into the Raspberry Pi over the um, over the router, and uh, so I'm looking at the desktop here, the Raspberry Pi uh, desktop, and I'm using VNC Viewer to do that. So there's the VNC Viewer application up there. So let's look at the um, channel 70 of the DSC on, uh, let's use um, GQRX. So that's the first way we'll do it. So there's GQRX. So we'll just uh, edit the settings here. Okay, there's my SDR. Uh, I'm cutting back the sampling rate so I don't have the RTL working so hard. So I've got one mega samples per second. That should be fine. Okay, so let's uh, let's listen to marine weather just to make sure it's working. So there's marine weather on 162.4 megahertz. Now, if I was to monitor uh, channel 70, let's get back this audio here. What I would do is I would go here and adjust this for 156, <clears throat> 1525. Okay, so 156.525. And what I could do is I could adjust the squelch. So let's adjust the squelch to minus options. Here's your squelch control. So right now where there's no activity on channel 70, so you might want to quiet that down. So you could adjust the squelch so that you don't get any, don't get any output when there's nothing there. So let's say you do get a message there on channel 70, the squelch would go off. And then what you could do is you could uh, press this button here, record, and that would uh, save uh, the audio as a WAV file. So that would be one way of saving any activity on channel 70. And then later on, what, would, what you would do is you would pull that off the Raspberry Pi. The problem is uh, with decoding the uh, GMDSS, I don't, I'm not aware of a decoder that works on Linux, whereas there is one on, on Windows. Or actually, there are quite a few that you can use on Windows, but I'm not aware of one on um, on Linux. You probably could be able to build one using GNU Radio. So let's uh, look at GNU Radio. That's the other uh, option to receive uh, channel 70. So I'll close that down. And we'll go into um, GNU Radio. There's GNU Radio. Okay, so there's my GNU radio model. I've, again, I've cut the sampling rate down to about 1.2 mega samples per second. That's my RTL SDR source. And I'm setting this up for marine uh, weather right now, just to show you how it works. And um, 
I've got a scope on the input, I've got a scope on the output, and I'm doing some resampling here to get this 1.2 mega samples down to uh, 480 uh, kilosamples per second for the uh, quadrature and narrowband receiver, and then uh, the output is at 48, uh, 48 kilohertz for the audio. So let's run that. Just cut this volume. Down. So that's the audio baseband there. And that's the RF baseband. Okay, so if I want to receive channel 70, then what I would do here is I would go uh, and put in the frequency 156. Five two five one two three. Okay, and then if I want to save the output as a WAV file, what you can do here is put a WAV file. Uh, use the um, search command. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to search for a WAV sync, WAV file sync. There's a WAV file sync. I'll drag it onto the uh, desktop. Okay, so what you would do then is put the WAV file sync down here and connect it to the um, connect it to the audio, and then you could save the um, save the audio. Okay, so then we've looked at receiving in um, GQRX and uh, GNU radio. So what you would do then is you would use a program like uh, PuTTY uh, and you would pull those WAV files, you save the WAV, WAV files here in a directory and then you would pull them into Windows. So there's my VHF uh, DSC file. So we'll open that and then we'll open the multi -PS. And we've got it set up for um, GMDSS ATIS, and I've got the VHF button pressed here. Okay, and we're scanning from the center frequency is 1700, and we're going from 1300 to 2100. So let's play this WAV file and see what happens. So there's the WAV file, and you can see the decode there in multi PSK. So just to summarize, then, we can have a dedicated receiver with the RTL running on the Raspberry Pi. Unfortunately, we don't have a decoder right now for Linux, at least as far as I'm aware of, for the GMDSS. But what we can do is we can use either GQRX or GNU Radio to save it as a WAV file, and then we can pull it off the um, Raspberry Pi and then decode it using uh, MultiPSK or one of the many uh, Windows programs.